Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. What's saving faith? Real faith. Faith which moves mountains? Faith, greater faith than all of Israel. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you love what we're doing, pass it on the faith of the next generation. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps us, a little bitty youth organization that could, Christian youth organization that could, keeps us a rolling. People talk about faith all the time. You just got to believe. My father used to say that he believed, and so he didn't have to go to church. Um, people talk about just believe. That's all you need. When things are bad, people tell you to believe. When you don't think you have enough money, people tell you to believe. What's faith? What's believing? The Canaanite dog woman. Matthew 15. And we looked at this on Monday, but what I love, what, what, what is important about the liturgical text is that we delve into them over the course of the week. The lectionary is not just a Sunday thing. Get in your bed. It's not just a Sunday thing. It's a whole week thing. So that if you see me lingering around the texts of the week, this is why. Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done to you as your desire. you desire. Verse 28 of Matthew 15. What was her faith? She didn't move mountains with her faith. She didn't get rich from her faith. She didn't get um, herself healed by her faith. And her daughter, who was demonized, she wasn't healed by her faith. So what's faith that saves? Well, if we look at the Canaanite dog woman, faith is confessing your sin and believing that God is good in Jesus to save you. It's not that you get yourself together and you get better and you do things in a right way. Oh, ho, ho. faith is not that I believe that that toss was going to work or the muscle memory. Faith, faith, faith first knows who we are. We're sinners. Faith knows what we deserve. Nothing. Faith repents of our sin. Sometimes when people talk about repentance, they talk about, um, they, they think that contrition is repentance, but plenty of people are sorry in the scriptures and still damned. Repentance is, is contrition and believing. And faith begins with repentance. It begins with, you know what? You weren't sent for me. I'm, I'm outside the faith of Jesus. You were sent for the, the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The only hope that I have is that you would be such a God as to be merciful. And faith, which receives and is repented, is, is passively um, uh, repented, because there's no repentance apart from the Lord's words. Faith trusts that God is is good in Christ and that he's going to save. The Canaanite dog woman knew that Jesus was there for her and that he had to save her, that he wasn't going to be any other God other than Savior. So it didn't matter that he didn't answer her prayers and it didn't matter that he ignored her and it didn't matter the deafening silence. What mattered was who Jesus was and what Jesus does. Who he is? Son of God. What he does, save. Dogs. I'm a dog. And to the dogs go the crumbs. He could have caught that. And so when we look at faith, don't make it a work. Don't make it something that you uh, drum up in yourself. And for God's sake, in, in this video, don't go, well, I'm going to work up some faith. If you think that way, then go outside, 
look at a mountain or a hill. We don't have any mountains in Louisiana, so we could look at a hill and tell it to be uprooted and be tossed in the Gulf of Mexico. And if it doesn't happen, then repent of that sort of faith. And instead, look to Jesus, confess your sins, your unbelief, your despair, and believe the God that he is, a savior of sinners. Believing is receiving. Faith isn't this work that you do. Faith is receiving what Jesus did for you. In the word, in the water, in its body and blood. Faith never talks about itself. Oh, how great a faith I have. Faith rather points to the object. When faith talks about itself, I'm a dog. But to the dogs go the crumbs. That says who you are. Kobe. And so I would like you to sort of re repent of how we think about faith as something that we do, something that we got to have, something that we got to be doing, and instead fix our eyes. Repent of that this Lenten season and give that up. And instead fix your eyes on who Jesus is and what Jesus is doing and how he is such a savior as to save even you from your sins. And then in him, in his forgiveness, in his mercy, in his love, we will find all the Jesus to save us. Faith knows who we are, sinners. Faith lives from the word, repeats back to us the word, you are a sinner, I'm a sinner, God, but I'm one for whom you die because you say so. And that receiving gifts from God, greater faith has, has no one in all of Israel than faith which receives from Jesus. Because that's what faith is all about. And that faith, that Jesus, will move the biggest mountain problem there is. Mount Sinai. And it will move that law and toss it in the waters of your baptism so that God won't accuse you anymore. Not in Jesus. Not because you did something. Because of what Jesus did on Mount Calvary. Faith that moves mountains. Faith that saves. Receives Jesus. Repentance. And receiving Jesus. That's faith. I'm Pastor George Borkhardt. This has been another Higher Things video short.